Hi, today is November 14th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1770 for the year, and it's a song. It's called Afternoon Moon. Afternoon moon had me singing a tune, had me swooning in a swoon, made me feel like a loon, had me weaving a loom, had my heart going boom. Had my flowers in bloom, swept me up like a broom, swept me off of my feet, made my heart skip a beat, had me feeling petite, had me feeling the heat. Afternoon moon fairly low in the sky, caught my eye, said a quick hi, and then goodbye. Afternoon moon, afternoon moon. Poem number 1771, Walking on Eggshells. I rarely find myself cooking eggs, but yesterday I fried some eggs for someone, and because I rarely have the opportunity, I cast these shells on the floor and walked on them. Although it was a pain in the dick to clean up afterwards, the sound of the cracking and feeling of the she and the feeling of the shells being crushed beneath my feet was extremely satisfying. I stepped on them deliberately and with some force, rather than tentatively and gingerly. That is to say, I didn't walk on eggshells as if I was walking on eggshells. I walked on eggshells as if I was walking or marching, maybe. Maybe tomorrow I will walk on sunshine. Poem number 1772, Bygones. That asshole neighbor knocked on my door yesterday asking if he could borrow my hatchet, and I was like, it's in the backyard. You were with me when we buried it. If you want it, you dig it up. I lent him my shovel, and he dug up the hatchet, the rat bastard. Tomorrow, I'm going to go over there and ask that cockfucker for a glass of water, knowing full well that all of it is under the bridge. Poem number 1773, Time Waits. They say time waits for no one, but the other day I was running behind and I said to time, give me like two minutes, and time was like, okay, and I actually took two minutes and nine seconds, but when I was ready, time was still there waiting for me. I think it's probably true that time usually doesn't wait for anyone, but apparently every now and then it does. And last poem of the day, poem number 1774, Dick in Sin. Because I kindly stopped for death, it would not stop for me. Death's carriage never came. I'm damned to immortality. Dick Inson. All right, so I, I, I understand if you don't appreciate me today, but I appreciate you.